So the next thing that I want to talk about is I learned something about nested templates that I want to show off. And I'm going to get rid of this picture of myself <laughs> because I don't, I don't need this here anymore. Um, so I want to show off this thing that I learned about nested templates, which I think is pretty cool. So we, if you're familiar with the templater plugin on Obsidian, a, pow a very powerful plugin, I think probably the most installed plugin on the Obsidian app store, if I would have to guess. Uh, and there's this whole templates file that allow you to, you know, trigger on file creation and stuff like that. I think this, this trigger trigger templater on new file location is actually very important. So this lot, this, this one here is very important to be able to, to use this um, method that I'm just about to explain. So one thing that I thought was kind of that I've been playing around with recently is checklists. So I've been playing around with more checklists and adding checklists to my daily life, but it's kind of annoying to make new instances of checklists every time you want to do something. So let's say, for example, that we have two template files. So let's go to our templates folder. Let's make a new note called test template list. And then let's make another one called test template list wrapper. So this test template list will have just like a checklist of things. So we'll say like one, two, three. Uh, it's a me. <laughs> it's a me Mario. So this, <laughs> this test template is one, two, three. It's a me and Mario. And let's say, for example, that you wanted to include a new instance of this test template list every time you use the wrapper one. So what you can do is that you can hit back this open arrow thing that I'm forgetting the name of percent tp dot file dot include and then you go with the double quotes and then you uh, double brackets to get up the obsidian modal for file insertion and then you type in that actual thing and then you close this off with another percent and this. Now when I go to like my daily note for example let's say that I am in this resources section and and I want that test template wrapper. Actually, as a matter of fact, let's also include something else like this is from the wrapper. I too am from the wrapper. M and M. This is a wrapper. Wrap God. And now let's go to this test template test, and then let's give it a heading to saying Wow we hog. Now when I go to the open today, and I go to resources, and then I hit Control P, and then I go to Templater. Insert template. Uh, and then nothing happens. Templater. Insert template. Oh, it didn't pop up the yes okay trigger on new file creation okay yeah where's my uh is it because i'm already in a templated file perhaps templater insert template oh wait here we go so now i can go to this test template list wrapper hit that and then you, we can see it that this is from the wrapper uh we have our our test template list here where we can do we can mark off our notes uh this thing is coming in from the tasks plugin this done button that also captures the date and we can see the wrapper so we see the wrapper surrounding the actual list from the template and it's a different instance so it leaves all of these undone so that's a really fun cool helpful tip that i just started using was to use this tp file include functionality to get this list or get get sub children into files i've been using this to uh use for my daily list so basically on my daily template i have like a giant daily template and then i want to say like I, I have a bedtime routine and i have a morning routine and i have like things that i need to do during out throughout the day including a stream checklist, for example. And I use this methodology, the tp.file.include to include these sublists. And then they just show up in my, uh, in my, in my wrapper or my daily template. And then they automatically change too, right? Cause like, yeah, you can, you can add dates and other template or things here. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Cool. All right. So now I want to talk a little bit about the power of checklists. I just talked about nested templates as a quick tip. Um, but the power of checklists, I think is something that I didn't really appreciate until I was doing something as consistently as setting up my stream. So let me take a picture of a partial bit of my stream setup checklist. <laughs> so what we're seeing here is this is just part of the things that I need to check <laughs> before I go live, right? So this is actually just like a, a quarter of the list, maybe like 33% of the list. And you can see that there's a lot of things that streamers, I think at least my stream needs to do before I go live. I need to make sure that my different scenes are working. I need to make sure that my fonts are the right size. I need to share, make sure my hotkeys are working, which they never work on OBS with this current version. So I'm hoping that it gets upgraded in the next version, but whatever. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I need to do for myself. Like I got to make sure I'm wearing my stream hat. I got to make sure the bed is clean, you know, just stuff like that. Like there's things that I think that if you have to get your mind into the position to remember these things, you're not going to be able to do them nearly
nearly as effectively. So the benefit of having a checklist is, especially when combined with the the method that we just talked about by using the TP, the templator file include thing, is that you get to you get to take that mental stress away. All you have to do is kind of just go through step by step. And I know pilots do this, and surgeons do this, and like those are two of the smartest professions on the planet. Right? Like these are two very high skilled professions, and they're both very critically reliant on something as simple as a checklist every time before they fly or every time they start surgery. And I think that the reason is like, you know, wash your hands or make sure that the the flight attendants are seated, like all these things that would normally get skipped because it's just too much to remember for any particular person can just be automized uh, and saved as a process. And the benefit of doing it with templates too, is that if you decide to change, you know, let's say that you decide to change this Mario wrapper to, to Luigi later. So like you're now no longer Mario, you're now Waluigi Stan, Waluigi Stan. Then you can go back here and then like you, let's say that you delete this, this thing. And then we're going to do our templator command again from modal. And then we're going to do the wrapper. And now it includes our new thing, right? So the idea is that your checklist should be able to evolve with you over time. So like when I have a morning routine now, by having it as a template, I'm confident that as I continue to update whatever my morning routine is, this thing will continue to follow with me. It'll grow with me. It'll change with me. And that's really powerful. So like, I think that being able to find parts of your life that you can checklist, doing your best to like think like, okay, what are the steps that even the smallest steps? Like, <laughs> I think it's actually more effective to start off at the very bottom. Like, what's the, the thing that you need to do that's the simplest? Like, before you go to the gym, you need to put on your gym shoes. So just talking about putting on your gym shoes as a checklist point, and just, it sounds simple and it sounds stupid, but when you are actively kind of like trying to get energy up to go to the gym, you're going to have to remember to find where your gym shoes are, for example. So if you have a checklist that says your gym shoes are here, <laughs> go put them on. It saves just enough mental stress and will to be able to help you get to that next point. So I would say give checklists a try. They're very powerful. I didn't really appreciate how powerful they were up until I just started using them a lot more. Um, and I've been using them now for a little under a week. And I've been like, damn, like I should have been using these a long time ago <laughs> because there's a lot of stuff that I do daily that just would be easier if I just had taken pictures. And another part about this checklist thing that I, I failed to mention is that you can you can insert images in here too, right? So let's say that you wanted to like this too, you would have a, a image to, you know, this picture. So every time that this template comes in, you can actually just mark that off and say, yep, yep, I like went over it. And this is really helpful for all these different like banking apps and stuff that people use, right? With all these different UIs that you need to revisit because you need to pay your banking bill or something like that. So being able to have that picture be in the checklist and saying, yep, I did the thing that I said I was going to do is just super helpful. So checklists, check them out. That's clever. That's funny. Oh boy.